May 17th, St. Pascal Bailon, whose body rests in the Franciscan monastery of Villarreal, Spain, died in the year 1592. He was born in the kingdom of Aragon and was a shepherd in his youth. Before taking the flock out to pasture, he attended mass when he could. If this were not possible, he would await the sound of the bell from the small church nearby and would kneel in the field at the time of the elevation to adore the blessed sacrament, the Savior who descends from heaven to the altar. At age 24, he became a discalcated Franciscan brother in Villarreal, and there he showed the same ardent fervor for the blessed sacrament. God rewarded him by calling him from this life after the moment of elevation. After receiving the Holy Viaticum, he asked if the Mass had begun yet in the monastery chapel. He was told that it had, and the elevation was near at hand. He waited attentively for the sound of the small bells. At that moment he exclaimed, My Jesus, and died. His funeral was marked by a great miracle. His coffin was in the chapel, and the office of the dead started. At the moment of the elevation of the host, the corpse moved and opened its eyes. When the priest raised the chalice, his dead body made the same movement. Later, his body was placed close to the main altar. Each time that a mass was celebrated on that altar, and as the moment of the elevation approached, movements inside the coffin were heard, inviting the faithful to increase their fervor and adore the blessed sacrament. This phenomena was said to have continued for a couple of centuries. St. Paschal had long been honored as a saint, partly owing to the miracles of all kinds attributed to him in life, especially his dealings with the sick and the poor, and these miracles were multiplied beside his buyer. There can be little doubt that the unusually great number of remarkable cures reported then and later influenced the ecclesiastical authorities to take unwontedly speedy action in the matter of his beatification. He was in fact beatified in the year 1618, and he was canonized in the year 1690. St. Paschal teaches us never to suffer a day to pass without visiting Jesus in the narrow chamber where he, whom the heaven itself cannot contain, abides day and night for our sake.